Let's take this text and turn it into this effect here. Welcome to Text Tip Tuesday. My name is Drew and I really like penguins. Okay, so here in Kittle, I want to talk to you about how to make a neon text effect. We've had a couple of inquiries for this because I know a lot of the UI has changed in Kittle. It's actually really, really easy. And I'm going to show you two different ways because you might walk into a little bit of a hurdle with some types of text. So I want to show you two examples. So here we can see the effect that we want. Over here on the right side, you can see this nice glow. You can see this nice gradient, what kind of applies the overall neon effect. And this is actually really really easy to do by the way this is just a template that I found over here in the templates panel by clicking neon or typing neon and you can see it right here so this is a really great way to learn is by adding a template that has the effect you want and then going in and kind of like checking it out so if we investigate and look a little bit we can see that all this is is a little bit of a linear gradient which i'll show you how to do a little bit of border weight that looks like it's white and then shadow in the same color with some offset and some blur so let's do this one at a time we're going to work on this text to get it to look about like this so if i click this text first thing that i'm going to work on is adding that linear effect if i open the text color over here on the right side and i click it you can see it's set to solid color but there's this little carrot here and if i click on that I'm going to click linear gradient and so now you can see the top is kind of black and the regular color here is that teal i'm going to click on this black and i'm going to select our same teal color but then i'm going to start sliding it up into the lighter side so that it gives us a little bit more of just a subtle gradient here and what we might want to do is grab this other one and start making it a little bit darker and then we can actually adjust the values here so you see if i start adjusting the values you can see where the gradient is filling so you can see it's a little bit darker around here a little bit lighter around here and depending on what you're doing with the degrees here it's going to change so if I start bringing the dark one up you can see that the darkness rises just a little bit and so what we're going to do with this one is maybe make it just a little bit brighter like that and we're starting to get something that's a little bit more like what's on the right side you can obviously go over here and select this text just come up here into the linear gradient and then just look at what's happening here and select it. You can also add multiple if you want, or if you already have this in the actual project, you can go down here to where the gradient is and just click it and it applies to your text automatically. All right, step two would be adding some border to this text. So if I click this little plus here to add some border, I'm gonna go here and click on white because we want the border to be white as you can see right here you got to think about how a neon sign would be right a neon sign the bulbs are generally going to be white so that's why we add this little bit of border weight right here and we want to obviously not add so much maybe about right here again I could click on this text to see what the exact number is but somewhere around 11 feels about right to me third step would be to add the shadow so down here on the right side you see text shadow and if I click this little plus button right here, it's going to add the shadow. I need to go ahead and make it that same neon blue color. So the shadow is actually that color. And then we're going to start adding some offset and increase the blur. And before you know it, it looks like you have a glowing neon text effect and that's super cool now i could go through all of the steps to adding it to this text as well but i'm just going to delete that text there click this one and duplicate it because it's going to be a lot easier for me to just use the text effect that's already been applied and just duplicate it and use it again now a couple things that you might note is you see right here where it says letter spacing and it says mix things might look weird if we start typing in a new word because the kerning on these letters has been adjusted so for example if i type in here nova it looks okay right now let's make sure it's gonna stay okay so it stays the same so sometimes it'll kind of compound together because the kerning and stuff is mixed up so just look at that if your letters start to seem bunched together it's just because somebody applied a kerning or a letter tracking effect that made it all tight and you just need to expand it but it looks like this one work perfectly fine now for these elements right here we can do the same exact thing we're going to add a little bit of border we're going to change it to white 
and then we're going to add a little not that much we're going to add just a little bit after we add the border we're going to add our shadow and i'm going to use the color dropper here to maybe find somewhere in the middle i could make it a lighter or darker one i don't think it matters so much let's decrease the offset i'm gonna change the angle a little bit to be more down to the right and then we can increase or decrease the blur at will and then another really really cool feature we have here is i can go up here and use the copy style button go down here to this element right click go to paste and paste style and then you can see there it added the border and it added the same color and it added the shadow and so already we have something that looks really close to the right side template that we started with and that's easily how you add that effect you want to have some border weight which is white generally you're going to have maybe a little bit of a subtle linear gradient you don't necessarily have to but it does kind of help with that overall glowy effect and then you're going to add shadow and then you can make it more intense if for example i use this little duplicate button if i click duplicate it makes it even brighter and more intense and so that's a style i use very often is i'll duplicate things to make it even brighter and more neon but there may be certain fonts you come in contact with where there might be a little bit of an issue you run into and this is also a good point about the neon or the glowy text effect is that you want to think about using fonts using type that would already look good as a sign right so either flat characters the techie kind of cyber characters that are digital and then monoline kind of pinstripe letters like this one where you might see that kind of natural flowy thin monoline script as a neon sign so we have this right here and we want to apply this subtle effect the same way we did over here but one thing that you might run into is if you add the border weight like I told you to you're going to notice here that no matter what color we turn it to we can turn it to white the way that script fonts are designed you're going to see some of the points move over into the next letter right because these letters have been connected because they're script and that's how you might have drawn it when you're writing it out you can see those lines overlap which makes kind of a little bit of an awkward effect it kind of destroys the effect and that's not what we want so an easy way around that is we're going to take that border way off because we're not going to use it i'm going to go through the same method except when i get to the shadow here i'm going to click this third one the block shadow and then i'm going to take the offset turn it all the way down and increase the outer width right here you see and then if i turn this to white because it's an outer weight it's not cutting in and going over into the other letter so you're safe you're good to go with this one now the only thing that you'll need to do to make sure you get this effect here is we're going to have to create a duplicate so if we create a duplicate and then we send it to the back or you just go back and click the one that's in the back it doesn't really matter now we don't have to really worry about the outline of it and we can go back to the normal drop shadow we can go and click that neon kind of teal and then we can add our blur and before we know it we have a little bit of a glow effect here which is really really cool right and that's just two texts layered on top of each other if i click on this one and i move it you can see this one is the one with the outline and the one underneath it is the one with the glow on it and then if we really wanted to we could select this text here go over to text color and instead of a solid color we can go down here and click on this gradient color and then now you can see the top of it is a little bit lighter the bottom of it is a little bit darker and now you have the same similar kind of glow neon text effect that you've been looking for okay i hope this video was helpful again this was text tip tuesday make sure you stay tuned for the next tip on the next tuesday let us know in the comments what other text effects tricks tips you want to see in kittle it doesn't have to be something as fancy as neon text it could be something simple like hey how do i adjust the left and right alignment you Tell me whatever you want to see and we'll go through one at a time and get you to be a typography master in Kittle. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video and we will see you in the next one.